How's it going, Pokemon fans? Shane here from Jolly Mons, and this week we're going to take a look into some Expanded. We're going to take a look at some Night March. Uh, Night March is one of those decks that's just kind of been Tier 1 ever since they printed it. Uh, pretty sure it, it's a little bit before my time because I just started last season with like this last rotation. But I do believe Night March kind of just dominated Standard most of its tenure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. But anyway... Uh, we are taking a look at it because this upcoming season is going to have much more expanded events than the previous season. Uh, a lot more expanded regionals and things like that. Um, so we are playtesting more of that to prep for those. So the main deck I've been testing has been Night March. Um, I've never played with it, so it's been pretty fun. It's just one of those high speed hit for a high damage decks. So... Anyway, let's look at our Pokemon. Now, expanded, not expanded. In Night March, you are going to run four Joltik, four Lampent, and four Punkaboo. Those are your Night Marchers. Joltik's going to be your main attacker, simply because he only requires a DC to get the attack off. So he's going to be your main priority when attacking. Uh, Punkaboo is also fine. The main issue here being you do need to get a Dimension Valley out since the Night March on Punkaboo does cost 3 energy. Uh, now Lampent, on the other hand, you will never use. You will literally just put it in your discard pile because it is a Stage 1. We, you do not play Litwick. So you're just going to put it right in the discard pile. Uh, we are playing 1 Mew from Fates Collide with the ability Memories of Dawn. Where Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play, though you do still need the necessary energy. In order to copy uh, Punkaboo or Joltik. And we are playing one Mar Shadow from the new set, Burning Shadows. The ability Shadow Hunt, this Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile. Uh, Mar Shadow is one of these new cards that a lot of people are hyped for in Night March, simply because one of Night March's biggest problems is dealing with the Turbo Dark Dark Ride decks. And Mar Shadow allows you to hit those for double damage. So it allows you to take faster, more efficient knockouts on Dark Rise. Um, I've been playtesting with just one Mar Shadow. I haven't quite tried two yet in our testing. I intend to get to it at some point in the next couple weeks. But so far, I think one is fine. Um, though I have been playing against primarily item lock decks. Thanks to these guys. But anyway. Um... But I do like Marshadow's utility, especially when it comes to being able to pull off random clutch, you know, Mad Bulls from Tauros, uh, things of that nature. And on that note, we are also playing one Tauros. Uh, in my experience, Tauros just really, really helps the Seismitoad Giratina matchup. Just because, you know, it's, you just they hit you for 30, hit you for 30 again, and then you Mad Bull take out Seismato, they have a hard time recovering from things like that. Uh, Taurus does also work really well if they're putting damage on your Marshadow. You just Compressor, put Tauros in the yard, and then use Mad Bull from Marshadow. So Tauros does offer a little bit of utility, just random situational things. And we are playing 3 Shaman, because this is one of those decks where you gotta go fast. You gotta go fast, fast, fast. Just gas pedal straight to the floor. So that's going to be it with the Pokemon. We'll go ahead and we'll move over to our items. Well, no, we'll start with supporters. I think supporters are better to go next. Uh, so supporter-wise, we are playing one Hex. Hex is just one of those generically good one of supporters in Pokemon. Uh, helps you against, say, any item lock deck such as Trevenant or Decidueye. Not Decidueye Plume. Uh, and it won't help you against Toad, but it'll help you against that. Uh, it'll also help you... Well, not in this deck, so never mind. But uh, just get around any ability locks. Or any kind of ability that's hindering you playing the game. We are playing only one Lysander, because 9 times out of 10 we should be taking one shots anyway. Or, you know, we're planning on two-shotting. Uh, 1N. In Expanded, we're not going to play as many draw supporters, simply because of Compressor. So we are playing one N. We're playing one Pokemon Ranger because Seismitoad. 
a seismitoad. Uh, we are playing three juniper slash sycamore. Simply, you know, three juniper, three sycamore. You gotta play draw supporters, guys, and they're the best draw supporter you can get. And we are playing one teammates, because Night Marchers have very low HP. They will be knocking us out. Uh, so we're playing teammates to help us search for DCE, maybe escape rope, whatever we might need to get computer search. Well, would need to get computer search, but you get my drift. Um, so that's going to be it on the supporter front. Uh, tools, we are playing two choice band. It just helps us hit the numbers. Uh, that way you only need seven night marchers in the discard to kill a lele. Um, things like that. It just helps you hit a higher numbers easier. I do think Choice Band is better in this deck than Fighting Fury Belt. Because your HPs are so low that the extra HP seems to be pretty meaningless. That's just my opinion. Uh, one Float Stone just in case. You know, it's a nice one of to have in the deck. Uh, so we go to items. Uh, we are playing four Battle Compressor Team Flare Gear. You're going to see this in pretty much every expanded deck ever. The cards just are really good. Especially in Night March where you can just search your deck for three cards and discard them. You can search for, say you need 40 extra damage to take a one shot on their active. You just play Compressor and put two more Night Marchers in the yard. And there you go. You have your damage. Compressor is mandatory, very crucial for this deck. It is also nice when you can like, if you have Versus Seeker in hand and you can Compressor to get the juniper you might need and then versus seeker for the juniper or i've even had times where i have like double puzzle in hand and i have to retreat to do anything you can compressor say a float stone or an escape rope play the double puzzles and get back your retreat card so compressor is a very important card uh we are playing one computer search another staple you're gonna see in almost any expanded deck uh some people might play dousing, mach dousing machine or a couple other random a specs and very very specific decks but 9 times out of 10, you're going to see Computer Search. You discard 2 cards from your hand, and you search your deck for any card you want and put it in your hand. It's really good. Uh, we're playing 1 Escape Rope. 1 Feel Blower. Uh, we are playing 2 Pokemon Catcher. Uh, it's just one of those things where you want to try and be able to pull up the cards you need. You can take one shots on when you can. Uh, like It's not necessary. That's why Catcher's there. Because you don't want it to be your supporter for the turn. But... Catcher's a nice little thing to help you get in there and get easy prizes. Uh, we are playing four puzzle. Uh, one rescue stretcher, just to, if we need to get back that one specific Night Marcher, or say we need to get Marshadow or Mew back out of the yard, or if we're starting to run out of cards against uh, any kind of stall deck, whales or something along those lines, we can just put a few cards back in our deck. Uh, one special charge, because we are only playing four DCE. And we are playing a Target Whistle Team Flare Gear because it's just really crucial when you can just slam, like say their bench is almost full and you can just fill their bench with something useless to shut them out from whatever they were trying to plan on doing. Or <clears throat> if you're holding a Lysander in hand and you can Target Whistle to put like a Shaman or something back and take two prizes, things like that. Uh, we are playing four Ultra Ball, four Versus Seeker. And then stadium wise, we're playing two dimension valley just to help Punkaboo attack for one energy less. That way we only have to have the DCE instead of it costing three. And we're playing a parallel city primarily just to help us get our shamans off the bench because we are going to load shamans on the bench to go fast. You want to draw the parallel city on yourself to get the shamans off the bench. The main thing that makes Night March so good is the fact that they're only taking one prize every time they knock something out. So you want to try and keep that gimmick going. So you want to like keep the shamans off the bench. Uh, Marshad you only want to use in matchups where you need to. You don't want to just randomly drop him. Uh, so that's the whole point. Make sure you're taking a two prize for one prize trade at all times. And of course, as I said a few minutes ago, we are playing just four DCE. So that's going to be it on the deck list, guys. Um, go ahead and take a look. If you got any questions, go ahead and comment them. We'll, one of us will answer it, whether it be me or CJ. Trevor, whoever. Uh, but yeah, we'll play some games over the next few days, and I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, and stay jolly.